Did you ever wonder what our life would be like in the next 30 years? As humanity continues to develop new technology faster than ever before, it is believed that our world will be completely different from how it is today. The world is continuously advancing at unprecedented rates, and by that time, we can expect to see each of our lives on Earth change drastically. If this is true, then what do you expect from the future? Join us as we travel our time into how our world would look like in the year 2050. Let us start with what's at the top of everyone's future bucket list, which is space tours and travel. Have you ever imagined being able to travel to space even without training to be an astronaut? How fascinating would it be to be able to fly around the moon, right? As the science fiction Le Voyage dans la Lune showed how space travel could look like, according to Business Insider, space tourism could be made possible by the year 2050 thanks to the rocket companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic, we will be able to see the beginning of space tours being made available to the general public. Isn't that amazing? For most people, getting to the stars is nothing more than a dream. But this already happened 20 years ago when US millionaire Dennis Tito achieved his lifelong goal and became the world's first space tourist even if he was not an astronaut. On April 30, 2001, Tito arrived at the International Space Station on a Russian Soyuz rocket. The trip cost him 20 million US dollars, but reflecting on the moment two decades later, Tito still feels the experience was worth every penny. The pencil started floating in the air and I could see the blackness of space and the curvature of the Earth. I was euphoric. I mean, it was the greatest moment of my life to achieve a life objective. And I knew then that nothing could ever beat this, he told CNN Travel. Unfortunately, it would cost you a fortune in order for you to occupy an interstellar seat, and Virgin Galactic has already sold about 600 of their tickets at a price between $200,000 and $250,000 each, bought by rich people including celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio, Justin Bieber, and Peter Thiel. So, if you want to experience traveling through space, you better start saving your money now. By 2050, artificial intelligence will already be insanely good. Let us assume that there won't be any Terminator scenario in the future. Won't the rise of artificial intelligence generally be a good thing? Robots taking over our jobs is not as harsh as it sounds. While robots could replace some workers, it's important to remember that past innovations have unlocked whole new industries and new jobs along with them, and the rise of AI could do the same. What's more, think how much better robots could make our world. Hans Moravec of Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute predicts that by 2050, freely moving robots that outperform humans both physically and intellectually will run entire businesses by themselves. In fact, it's not going to be as hard as it, as it has looked for a while. This will cause a massive influx of social jobs and works that require one's imagination, empathy, and interaction. Cheaper goods and services can also be seen once this happens. Automated production lines are cheaper to run and are far more efficient. So despite CEOs being eager to hold on to additional profits, the market may force a drop in price for many things including cars, electronic goods, and even food. AI researcher David Levy also predicted that by 2050, robots could also provide people with emotional sustenance. There would be human-like robots with their own emotions and the capability to hold intelligent conversations and, yes, relationships with people. Is this the ultimate sex toy? Levy wrote in New Scientist. It could be considered as such, but the sophisticated sex robots of the middle of this century would also be valued as relationship partners in the widest sense of the word, someone to love. Well, what do you think about that? Advancements in neuroprosthetic field can also be seen by 2050. Knowing that it's not easy to come up with an invention that can make you control everything with your mind, neuroprosthetics is already out of the market as of this time. 
In 2013, the FDA already approved cochlear implants, retinal implants, and brain implants, sending electrical impulses in people's brains with Parkinson's disease. With Elon Musk's Neuralink and other neuroprosthetics being released, the hope for the diseased and paralyzed was made genuinely possible. And anyone who would like to control anything from their mind can make this possible with the use of this technology in the future. But regardless of how technological and fascinating our future sounds, like from the past minutes, we cannot deny that not everyone is excited about the future. There are currently around 7.6 billion people living on this little planet we call Earth. And by 2050, this number is projected to rise to a staggering 9.7 billion. The extra mouths to feed, bodies to clothe, and people to house will undoubtedly bring huge changes in different industries. With the continuous growth of population, global warming will continue to pose a legitimate threat. And it is only going to be more noticeable by the year 2050 if we do nothing about it. Getting the planet carbon neutral is a long shot for sure, but it is possible. By 2050, the majority of the Earth's energy will most likely be derived from renewable sources. This will certainly help to bring the planet's carbon footprint down to a minimum and will also encourage the entire transport to go green as well. In most of our previous videos, we also featured some of the technological advancements that our future may hold, such as the rise of nanotechnology, 3D printing body parts, freezing your body to extend your life, advanced drones, surgery robots, and more. These technologies surely have a long way to go, and there is definitely a lot more to look forward to as 2050 comes. Advancements in technology are always there pushing ever forward towards new and exciting breakthroughs. Ten years ago, early smartphones were still in their relative infancy. Today, we carry around powerful mini-computers in our pockets and purses, capable of accessing the entirety of the Internet's wealth of information. However, we must hope that these advancements will push away from the environmental problems that our world faces towards the better and more prosperous future that we may have. What other techs do you expect to see in 2050? Let us know your thoughts about this by writing a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome and substantial videos like this one. Thanks for watching!